I didn't expect it to be suitable, but when I thought about it, I would write it out. Although it's slower, I won't abandon it keywords of the novel. Get married by decree, hold my little puppy tightly without pop-ups, get married by decree, hold my little puppy tightly. Download the complete set of TXT, get married by decree, hold my little puppy tightly. Latest chapter reading. Chapter 1. Arranged Marriage, 1. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 1 Arranged Marriage, 1. Sister Yen Ying, how about getting married when we grow up? Xiao He Yish asked seriously. No, we will each have someone we like when we grow up. Xiao Yen Ying replied solemnly. So when I grow up and continue to like Sister Yen Ying, can we be together? I don't know how to, why? Why not? No, I just don't. There's not that much. Why? Yish, I'm asking you, where did you buy the bear biscuit you gave me last time? It's quite delicious. Yen Ning, do you like to eat bear biscuits? I will bring them to you every day in the future. How about getting married when we grow up? Xiao Yen Ying pouted and said in a milky voice, You think it's beautiful. I can eat bear biscuits, but I won't marry you when I grow up. Remembering what He Yish had said to her when she was a child, Yen Ying couldn't help but frown. After all, she got married. Recalling the scene where she once refused him, and now, it's so embarrassing. If I had known it would be like this now, I shouldn't have refused so thoroughly at that time. I really hope he can forget. A gentle knock came from outside the door, interrupting Yen Ying's thoughts. Seeing that the people inside did not respond, Lu Yao spoke in his loud voice at the door, Miss, the press conference is about to start in Banquet Hall No. 1. Madam, Please come down earlier. I don't want to talk to him, but with Uncle Lu's style, if I don't respond to him, he will keep repeating this sentence at the door until Yen Ning opens the door. When Yen Ning was young, she fell ill and didn't want to take medicine. Lu Yao also used the same method, trying every means to coax and deceive her to take medicine. I was really afraid of him. Yen Ning reluctantly opened the door and said to the amiable Lu Yao, Let's go now. On the way to the banquet hall, she saw He Yish waiting at the door. Today, he was wearing a well-cut charcoal gray suit, a spotless white shirt paired with a dark black suit tie. It seemed that the tie was too tight and he had been fiddling with his tie. However, when he saw Yen Ying coming, Che placed his hand behind him and panicked, saying, Yen Ying, you're here. What's wrong? Is the tie tied too tight? Yen Ying asked. It's okay, but the tie is a bit tight. I'll just fix it. I don't know why today's tie was particularly tight. Looking at his nervous expression, Yen Ning joked, Tonight we are the main characters, don't be nervous, I won't eat you. Although there are many journalists outside, you can just treat them as non-existent. It's really not possible. Imagine them as moving little bear cookies, bouncing and jumping very cute. Upon hearing her words, why did Che's tense nerves relax a lot and couldn't help but laugh out loud? Yen Ning smiled and walked forward, kindly helping him tidy up his tie. Why did Che feel embarrassed and touch the back of his head? Thank you. Yen Ning was stunned for a moment, took the initiative to extend her right hand and said seriously, Are you ready? Please give me your hand. He smiled shyly and gently extended his hand holding hands with her as they entered the banquet hall. In fact, there is a reason why Che is so nervous. I can only hope that he tries his best not to think about things about reporters when he was a child. As soon as Yen Ying and He Yish entered the banquet hall, many journalists gathered around them. One of them wanted to ask them a question, but was mercilessly stopped by the bodyguards behind them. They had no choice but to quickly walk towards the center of the banquet hall. The host saw the protagonist on stage and solemnly announced that the press conference of Nantian Hotel has officially begun. Chen Guang, the public relations manager of Nantian, walked up to the stage and said solemnly, Today we are going to announce two important things. Firstly, He Group will invest all its hotel business in Nantian Hotel. 
Regarding the shares invested by He Group, they will appear on the official websites of He Group or Nantian Hotel. Interested journalists are welcome to visit the official website for inquiries. Secondly, Mr. He Yish and Miss Yanning are getting married. Next, let's invite the two new employees to answer the questions of journalists. Thank you. Chen Guan stepped down from the stage and stood in a hidden corner. He sighed helplessly and said to himself, it's not easy for children of wealthy families. Even marriage is under the control of elders. Although this heavyweight news has been leaked for a long time, it is far from being as true as the official announcement. Faced with the heavyweight news headlines, journalists naturally refuse to let go of their two important parties. Hello Miss Yen, I am a journalist from Tiancheng Entertainment. There are rumors that Miss Yen had a boyfriend during your college years, but that boyfriend is not your current husband. What is your response to this? With such a topical question, almost all reporters focus their cameras on Yen Ying. It seems that I am very much looking forward to my answer. What can Yen Ying do, of course, to help them? Emotions don't match, we broke up, answering the reporter's question calmly, Yen Ying's face showed no expression. The reporter from Tiancheng Entertainment asked, May I ask Miss Yen, is it related to Mr. He that you broke up with your ex-boyfriend? Is it okay? It all belongs to my personal private life. I'm sorry, I won't answer any questions related to my private life. Thank you all. Can you share some interesting love stories between you and Mr. He? asked another journalist. Yen Ying smiled indifferently and gave a gentle glance at He Yish next to her. As childhood sweethearts, two young people have no guesses, and coupled with matching families, she said the reporters shook their heads helplessly, seeing that they couldn't dig anything out from Yen Ying, they turned their heads and aimed the camera at He Yish sitting silently on the side. Hello Mr. He, I am a reporter from a city daily. My name is Yang Yuan. May I ask how Mr. He is with Miss Yen? Currently, Mr. He does not have any profession. Will Mr. He hold a position at the Nantian Hotel after you get married? If Mr. He holds a position at the Nantian Hotel, will there be any regulations for the future of the Nantian Hotel? Faced with a series of problems and one camera after another, how could Che suddenly feel his scalp tingling, his whole body cooling, and even his breathing becoming rapid? He clenched his fists tightly, his tightly closed thin lips unable to say a word. Oh no! he's having a lens phobia. Yen Ying tightly grasped his hand and intentionally looked at Chen Guang in the corner. Chen Guang saw that the situation was not right and quickly ran over, blocking the camera from He Yish's side with his body. Yen Ying took the microphone and said solemnly, my husband is not feeling well today and it is not convenient to answer everyone's questions. I am very sorry. Regarding the personnel changes in Nantian, we will inform everyone in the Nantian announcement. Thank you for attending this press conference. My husband and I have other matters to attend. Let's take a step first. As soon as she finished speaking, she held He Yish's hand and walked away without looking back. Leaving reporters with a bewildered expression on their faces, Chen Guan walked up to the stage with an apologetic expression and said, This press conference is coming to an end. Thank you all for your support to Nantian. Here, Chen expresses his heartfelt gratitude. The reporters had to turn off their cameras and left the banquet hall in disappointment. Yang Yuan received a mysterious text message on his phone. He looked at the content of the message and smiled with satisfaction. After watching today's live TV broadcast, Mr. He sat in his chair and muttered to himself, It's been so long since things happened isn't the phobia still resolved with clear lenses? If he keeps doing this, how can I trust him with such a big family business? Steward he stood on the side and tried to smooth things out, it's okay. Young Master Yish will get better. Master, you have to give him time to adapt. My heart suddenly cooled, and Mr. He snorted coldly, is it time? Didn't I give him time to adapt? It's been many years and there's no sign of improvement. If he keeps doing this, how can I trust him with peace of mind? Maybe when he gets better, I'll already go see my wife. 
respected deities, what my master said just now was all nonsense. Don't take it to heart, you old man, said housekeeper he, devoutly praying, you old man, you're already quite old. Why bother with some things you don't have? If the deity really exists, I will definitely shape his golden body and spend a lot of money to build a temple, making my wishes come true. Steward he chuckled and said, if the gods believe, there are some who don't. Since the master doesn't believe, I can't say anything. If the master really wants to build a temple for the gods, remember to inform me so that I can go and burn a few incense sticks. Grandpa he smiled and said, yes, I will, provided that in my lifetime, I want to see the children of Yish and Yening. By the way, go and call those two people over now. The newlyweds who just entered the door are going to meet the elders of the groom's family. General manager's office of he building materials sitting in the office, he Yi Cheng watched today's TV live broadcast attentively. He was very satisfied with he Yish's performance today. With just a small trick, he Yish was able to embarrass himself in front of the reporters. It seems that his camera phobia is not good yet. If it weren't for Yen Ying's obstruction, he really wanted to see how he suddenly fainted and collapsed in front of the reporters. The scene was just wonderful just thinking about it. End of this chapter Chapter 2 Arranged Marriage 2 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Arranged Marriage 2 Returning to the Suite Yenning looked at He Yish nervously and quickly poured him a glass of water. He Yish took the water and thanked him repeatedly. Are you still feeling uncomfortable? Go lie in bed for a while. I'll have someone bring some fruit later. I don't want to eat, just take a nap. Can you stay by my side for a while? Just as she was about to respond, her phone suddenly rang. Yenning looked at the caller ID and couldn't help but feel angry simply mute your phone and leave it on the table without worrying about it. Why did Che point to the phone on the table and ask, Yenning, won't you answer your mother.in.law's phone? What if your mother.in.law has an urgent matter to come to you? I'll go find her later, you can sleep peacefully. Why did Che lie peacefully on the bed, watching her tenderly tidy up the bed quilt? Yish, hurry up and go to bed. There are other things to do this afternoon. Why did she close her eyes quickly? A light perfume came from the quilt. It was the smell of Sister Yening. It felt like she was sleeping beside herself. The tension slowly dissipated, accompanied by the familiar smell of perfume, unconsciously fell asleep. Yening saw him fall asleep and quickly picked up her phone to take a look. Her mother made two phone calls and sent a text message. The thing you want is in my office, come and pick it up yourself. She sighed. Her mother has always been like this, cold and ruthless, never procrastinating, and has no human touch. I hope I won't be like her in the future. Yen Nan is sitting in front of the sofa, carefully watching today's live broadcast of the press conference. After seeing Yen Ning arrive, he pointed to the USB flash drive on the table and said, the things you wanted are right on the table. You performed very well today, is Yish okay? I think he is quite nervous. Remember to spend more time with him when you have nothing to do. He is at least your husband. I know now, you haven't backed up what's inside the USB drive, have you? Yanning didn't believe her mother could easily hand it over to her, after all, she had threatened her with this thing. However, my mother pretended to be indifferent and repeatedly watched the press conference in front of her, deliberately turning up the volume of the TV to the maximum. The huge office echoed with her voice at the press conference. What angered Yanning the most was not this, but pretending to have a silly expression and muttering incessantly. Ah! My son dot in dot law is really handsome, he is so cute. Such words, without mentioning me at all. Contrary to her usual appearance, Yenning couldn't bear the dual torment of sight and hearing. As she turned around and opened the door to leave, the sound of the TV suddenly stopped and the entire office became quiet. I don't have it, Yen Nan replied coldly. As soon as he finished speaking, he carefully flipped through the files on the table, as if nothing had happened just now. 
Yening hates her mother for being like this. Although she is the planner of all this, she always puts on an innocent appearance. I got it, after coming out of her mother's room, Yening went straight back to the hotel room. When she opened the door, she saw He Yish sitting on the sofa with drowsy eyes. Beside her stood He Butler, who saw Yening coming and walked up to her with a smile, respectfully saying, Miss Yen, the master asked you to go back to his house with young master Yish and share lunch. Sharing lunch, how could it be so simple? The ugly daughter dot in dot law will eventually meet her in-laws, and those who should come will always come. Just follow fate. Yen Ying smiled and said, Grandpa Butler, let's go now. Upon hearing her say to leave, He Yish quickly got up, rubbed his sleepy eyes, yawned, and followed behind her. Along the way, why didn't Che take the initiative to say a word to Yen Ying? Why is Che appearing indifferent on the surface, but actually feeling flustered in her heart? This is her first time eating under the name of son's daughter. In. Law. What should I say to her? Do you want to say, don't be nervous when you come to my house? My grandfather is very kind. Is that appropriate? Or do you say don't be afraid, I will protect you behind you, everything has me. Hey, I have to say a few words, even a few irrelevant words are stronger than the awkward atmosphere now. Why did Che turn her head and take a look? Yening leaned back in her seat, closing her eyes and rhythmically extending and retracting her little finger. She should be thinking about something now. Forget it, I still don't want to disturb her. The He family mansion is the size of two football fields, with a small path formed by various pebbles leading directly to the entrance of the villa. Various precious flowers and plants are planted on both sides of the path. Yening walked to the end of the path, and a modern three-story villa came into view. As soon as she walked to the door, a bodyguard-like person stopped them and said coldly, Master, please ask Miss Yen to go to the second-floor study alone. Let's talk about important matters in detail. What did Grandpa say? Can I come up together? He Yish asked urgently. The bodyguard shook his head helplessly. It's okay, maybe Grandpa wants to see his granddaughter-in-law. After speaking, Yen Ying smiled at him. Seeing Yen Ying smiling at her, why did Che bow her head in embarrassment? Miss Yen, please go to the study quickly. Don't let the master wait for too long, said Butler He, clearing his throat and speaking forcefully. Under his guidance, Yen Ying arrived at the study. Mr. He sat at the sandalwood desk, leisurely drinking tea, and saw her coming. He pointed to the nearby sandalwood stool and gestured for her to sit down. Xiaoying, do you know why you married Yish? Due to severe losses in its hotel business, he group has dragged down the main business of the group. Nantian Hotel has suffered heavy losses in the competition with Shanshue Hotel. In order to stop losses and make profits, he group has adopted a cooperation between the two parties. He group has acquired 10% of the shares of Nantian Hotel in the form of investment in the loss-making hotel, and provided a secret loan of 5 billion yuan to support Nantian Hotel. The condition is that I marry Yish. We cannot divorce for five years, otherwise Nantian Hotel must repay 5.5 billion yuan to he group. Mr. He was satisfied and said, Xiaoying, it seems that your mother has told you all the truth. In fact, there are some things that we just need to know. There's no need to tell anyone else. Got it, Chairman He. I won't talk to Yish about it. Mr. He gave a disdainful smack of his lips and said discontentedly, it's so unfamiliar to call him Chairman He. Since you've already married Yish, it's time to change your tune. Yening was stunned for a moment and said, I understand, Grandpa. Mr. He was very satisfied with her answer and continued, on the wedding side, your mother and I are already ready. Tomorrow is an auspicious day. Please prepare it and I will tell him about it on the Che side. Yening was stunned and said, it's a bit rushed to hold a press conference today and a wedding tomorrow. Shouldn't we leave some space for the two of us to prepare? Mr. He slowly looked at her and said, 
before you obtained the certificate, your mother and I were already preparing for the wedding. Everything was ready but we didn't have enough time. How could the wedding be rushed? Good things come in pairs, so we should get married early. What? Do you too want to just obtain the certificate instead of the wedding? With sharp and serious eyes that were not angry but powerful, Yen Ying's heart sank and she could only agree, Grandpa, I will be prepared. Lunch should be ready. If you don't go out again, I guess Yish will come up and ask for someone from me. Grandpa he finished and burst out laughing. Yen Ying bowed slightly and said, I'm going out right now. I'm sorry I can't have lunch with you this time. I'm a bit tired and want to go back and rest early. Grandpa he waved his hand helplessly and said, so that's the case. Then you go back and rest well. Young people's health is most important. Thank you, Grandpa, for your understanding. As soon as Yenning left the study, he saw He Yish standing at the staircase from a distance, constantly looking in the direction of the study. After seeing her come out, he quickly ran to the living room. Yenning walked into the living room and said to him, my mother has something to do with me, so we can't have lunch together. Thank you for Grandpa's kind invitation. Why did Che frown tightly and ask, is it Grandpa who said something unpleasant to you? No, it's my mother who came to me. Later, I'll ask the butler Grandpa to take me back to the Nantian Hotel. I really have nothing to do with Grandpa. Seeing that Yen Ying's decision to leave has been made, why not persuade Che to keep her anymore? Yen Ying, have a safe journey. Well, thank you under the escort of Butler He, Yen Ying safely returned to the hotel room, walked to the sofa, collapsed on the sofa, and helplessly sang, marriage came too fast like a tornado, unable to escape without the storm circle, I am no longer single, I am no longer single. End of this chapter Chapter 3 Auntie Comes you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 3 Auntie comes sitting on the dressing table, makeup artist Chin Yao skillfully helped Yan Ying apply her makeup. In the mirror, she became extremely beautiful under the efforts of the makeup artist. Chin Yao looked at her with a worried expression and asked anxiously, Miss Yan, are you not satisfied with this makeup? If you are not satisfied, I can change it. There is still a lot of time. There's nothing unsatisfactory, just not understanding what marriage is. Oh. By the way, Miss Chen, are you married? I've been married for almost five years. Marriage is about your feelings and wishes, mutual tolerance, mutual understanding, and spending the rest of your life together. Chen Yao said happily. Upon hearing her say this, Yen Ying suddenly became interested and couldn't wait to know the rest of the story. Oh, no one has a heart for gossip yet. Yen Ying thought for a moment and asked tentatively, So how are you and your husband together? There's still a lot of time, is it convenient for Miss Chen to talk? Upon hearing this, Chen Yao immediately opened up her conversation and skillfully put on makeup while talking about her relationship with her husband from acquaintance to love, and then to the pursuit of her makeup career. Despite opposition from others, her husband gave up his job and became a family cook and professional dad. When it came to excitement, she danced happily, and as she spoke, a happy smile appeared on her face. Yen Ying smiled and the assistant next to her secretly laughed. After the two of them took the oath, it was the wedding banquet. The banquet at the wedding was hosted by the Nantian Hotel. Although the two families requested a simple wedding ceremony, there were still many people who came, some seeking help from the He family, some coming to watch the excitement, some coming for work, and so on. Because He Yish didn't know how to drink, the toasting part was missing at the banquet. He accompanied the elders to finish their meal and chatted briefly with some business celebrities at the banquet. He Yish and Yanning hurriedly left the venue. This formal wedding came to an end like this. As soon as he returned to the room, he Yish couldn't wait to pull Yanning aside. Why did you marry me? Was it forced? Did my grandfather threaten you with something? If so, we will quietly go to the Civil Affairs Bureau tomorrow to handle the divorce procedures. 
looking at him questioning herself seriously, Yanning suddenly wanted to tease him. Yeah. There's a threat to me. I knew you wouldn't marry me so casually. It must have been my grandfather who tampered with me later on. Apart from him, no one in the He family has the ability to do so. What does my grandfather threaten you? I plead with him and ask him to let you go. Do you know that? When we were getting the certificate, my grandfather stood behind me with a knife holder around my neck, forcing me to get it. The knife was so scary, so scary. Yen Ning pretended to cry. Why did Che look bewildered and say, when we received the certificate, there was no one behind us? Think about it again, I've thought it over carefully, there's no one behind us. Yen Ning couldn't help but burst into laughter. Why did Che see this situation? She understood that she was teasing herself. Why did Che feel a bit aggrieved? You actually lied to me. Yen Ning smiled and answered seriously, I'm telling you by example, don't trust women easily, and don't trust me easily, even if we were childhood sweethearts. Why can't I easily trust you? Will you harm me? asked Che, pulling down her hand in confusion Yen Ning proudly raised her eyebrows and deliberately lowered her voice, I can't do something like this to harm you for the time being, but if I lie to you, I will definitely do it. Hee <laughs> hee, you have me for the rest of your life, but be careful. At this moment, why did Che's phone suddenly ring, Yen Ning glanced over and saw a strange number. When she saw the destination of the call, she understood who had called, at this point in time, the place where this call belongs, who else can there be? Why is it that Che's younger sister, Miss He, is also? Maybe she still doesn't know that I'm married to her beloved brother. There was no ripple in her heart, and she silently sympathized with He Yiwen for a minute. I really want to see the expression on He Yiwen's face that she knows I have become her sister. In law. Is she unhappy, unhappy, or particularly unhappy? Tomorrow my sister will return to China, let's go to the airport together to pick her up. Well, I got it, for a moment, the two of them didn't know what to say next. Yen Ning helplessly pointed to the wall clock and said, if there's nothing else, we'll go to bed early. Okay, why did Che lift a corner of the blanket and calmly say, go to bed early? Good night, wife. Good night, without any extra words, the wedding night ended in this way. After answering the phone, how could Che's attitude be completely different? Yen Ning couldn't help but think, does he know something? He Yish, who was sleeping on the other side, couldn't help but imagine that she received a mysterious message today. The message said that Yen Ning married her because she was coerced by the He family and her mother, and there was an economic collusion between the two families, which forced her to choose to marry down. Although he knew that Yen Ning would not easily marry him, he did not expect to be coerced by his grandfather. Starting from Yen Ning deliberately changing the topic, he became even more convinced that the mysterious information was true. Although I have always wanted to marry her, it is definitely not in this way. What is the difference between this method and arranged marriage in the feudal era? I want her to be completely and willingly with me. They arrived at the airport thirty minutes early and patiently waited for He Yiwen's appearance. In order to welcome her, He Yish specially made two welcoming signs and waited at the airport pick dot up gate. The sign reads. Welcome your lovely and beautiful little sister back home, with various pink heart dot shaped pictures posted on it. Why did Che raise the sign so high? It was too low, afraid that his sister wouldn't be able to see it. If it weren't for wearing a mask and hat, Yen Ning wouldn't have stood at the airport holding up such a sign, but why Che didn't take it seriously, lifting the sign high and shaking it left and right, constantly searching for her sister's figure at the airport pick dot up gate. A nimble black figure quickly rushed towards He Yish, and He Yiwen hugged her brother. Yen Ning saw the person coming clearly. Isn't this the sister dot in dot law studying in M country? Why did one hold him and excitedly say, long time no see, brother? I miss you so much. Have you missed me, brother? I miss you too much, I really don't want to disturb this scene of deep sibling affection, but Yen Ning can't help it. 
It's been a long time since I was angry, why bother one? She feels uncomfortable in her heart. Specially coughing hard beside them, why did Che realize he had ignored her? He let go of his sister and walked over to Yan Ying, making a gesture of joy and introducing her to her, saying, This is your sister. In. Law. We are already married. I didn't change my identity for a while, but I still like to call her Yan Ying, he Yiwen smiled playfully at her, her lively eyes full of disdain. It's okay, as long as my sister. In. Law is happy, Yan Ying to emphasize the three words, sister. In. Law. How could when Chi grit her teeth with anger, just in front of her brother, she couldn't show it too clearly, and couldn't make it difficult for him to be a good person between his wife and sister? Be patient, at least in front of your brother. He Yiwen affectionately held her brother's hand and looked excited, I'm hungry, brother, take me to eat something delicious. Don't you go home. Grandpa misses you very much. Grandpa, it's okay to see you later. Let's go eat. It's been a long time since we last had the forget Wangji sauce duck. Let's go eat together. I dare not see you, because you sneaked back. Grandpa didn't even know you would return to China, Yan Ying stood beside me, realizing the truth. Although she couldn't bear to see He Yiwen's disappointed expression, I had no choice but to comply with Grandpa's request. Auntie, it's my sister Dot in Dot Law who apologized to you. Why is one expressionless, but she has already been greeting her several times in her heart. All right, Sister Yan Ying, she's good at picking up any pot she doesn't open. Why did Che stare and ask seriously, is that so? I thought it was your grandfather who authorized you to come back, but I didn't expect you to sneak out. It's too much. What if something unexpected happens? It's rare for my older brother to behave like this. He Yiwen immediately looked like a kitten that had made a mistake and lowered her head in injustice. Brother, I miss you so much. You got married, but you didn't even tell me, which made me miss the chance to be Yan Jie's bridesmaid. I don't have a bridesmaid or groomsman when I get married, because my silly sister once said that when she grows up, she will be the bridesmaid at my wedding. She will be the most beautiful bridesmaid at the wedding and use her super high looks to instantly kill my beautiful bride. After hearing this, Yan Ning was filled with emotion. He Yiwen truly deserves to be so confident since childhood. He Yiwen raised her head and excitedly said, Brother, is what you're saying true? Do you really have no groomsmen or bridesmaids when you get married? Yan Ning nodded and said, It's true. Your brother didn't lie to you. He specifically asked Grandpa for help. Our marriage was very simple. Wife, you know so well that you've been with me all this time and haven't taken my grandfather's phone call, he asked in confusion, when I first arrived at the airport, Butler he sent me a text message informing me that he knew about Yiwen's return to China and asked us to take her back. Why did Che Xian say that my grandfather didn't tell me about such an important matter? When did their relationship become so good? There must be demons in every situation, and they definitely kept something from me. Yan Ying drove directly with He Yiwen back to the He family. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Ends like this. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 4 ends like this As soon as I arrived at the entrance of the He family, I saw the butler standing at the door waiting, with several black bodyguards behind him. Housekeeper he walked in front of He Yiwen and respectfully welcomed her, saying, Welcome Miss Yiwen home. The master has been waiting in the study for a long time. The task has been completed, so don't disturb Grandpa anymore. My wife and I are going to live in a world of two. Thank you to the housekeeper Grandpa, Yiwen. You have to take care of me, he Yish said and pulled Yan Ning back. Steward he gently watched as they left. He Yiwen looked at him pitifully and asked cautiously, Dear housekeeper, is my grandfather in a good mood today? Steward he smiled and said, Master, you're in a good mood today, but not necessarily when you see Miss Yiwen. I advise you to seek your own blessings, which would be better. After hearing his words, why didn't one have the courage to face her grandfather even more? 
After returning home, He Yish returned to her room early to rest, while Yen Ying sat on the sofa quietly daydreaming, unconsciously recalling her story with He Yiwen. The story still needs to be told from a young age. He was born in the same year as me, and I am a few months older than he. Both families are family friends, so he always called me sister. I don't know when he started to like me. Why did Che confess to me when she was ten years old and say she wanted to marry me when she grew up? I refused at that time on the grounds that my age was too young and people tend to grow older. At the age of fifteen, he bought me a lot of chocolates as a gift and confessed to me. I refused on the grounds of prioritizing my studies and not wanting to have early love. At the age of sixteen, he was holding a large bouquet of flowers and confessing to me in front of all my roommates. I didn't even think about it and just refused. And then this matter spread throughout the school, spreading and spreading to Hee Yiwen's ears. Why would one naturally not let me go easily, after all, my brother is her closest person in this world. He Yiwen's parents both died in a car accident when she was eight years old, one afternoon, she led several junior high school students to block me at the school gate, intending to fight a duel through fencing. The loser had to agree to a condition for the winner. I am a high school student with excellent character and academic performance. How could I easily agree to engage in a fencing duel with a junior high school student? I immediately refused, but I didn't expect her to come back the next day for the same reason and in the same way. I refused seriously. On the third day, I told Iche directly about this matter. After hearing this, he was very angry and the consequences were very serious. When He Yiwen and her assistant appeared at the school gate again, He Yish and He Butler suddenly appeared and forcefully took her away, not allowing her to say another word. I was taken aback by her little attendant, and upon seeing this scene, feeling happy, I mischievously made a face at her. After a few days of peaceful life, one time when I walked out of the school gate, I received a white envelope from a stranger. I could also receive white envelopes from others in the classroom. When I asked them who gave them, they unanimously said it was a little girl who looked thirteen or fourteen. I curiously opened the envelope and saw it read. Yen Ying, how annoying. There are also many ghost faces painted next to it. Opening several envelopes all contained the same content. Oh, except for He Yiwen, I really can't think of anyone who would do such a childish thing. Why did Yi Che apologize to me? He had educated Yi Wen well about it and hoped that I would forget about it and not cause any unpleasantness between the two of them. I didn't tell him about the envelope matter because I decided to solve it my own way. What should bare children do if they don't listen? Of course, just give it a lesson. That afternoon, I came to He Yiwen and told her that I agreed to resolve this matter through fencing. On Sunday, He Yiwen took over the entire fencing venue and used it as the venue for our competition. Next to the venue, there were several of her attendants, the tallest of whom was holding a camera and recording the entire process. There are also plenty of snacks and boxes of mineral water and drinks next to them. Looking at He Yiwen, who was one head shorter than me, I didn't know what I was thinking at the time. It was as if I saw victory not far ahead and waved at me with a smile. The game adopts a three-game two-win system, where the player who first stabs the opponent's body wins one game. In the first round, I took the initiative and stabbed her with a sword like a raindrop. Her agile left and right defense movements were very skilled. Taking advantage of my unpreparedness, she stabbed me in the chest with a sword. In the second round, relying on her height advantage, I quickly suppressed her movements and hit her in the chest before she regained consciousness. In the third round, I couldn't use the same move the second time. I decided to change my strategy and constantly use moves to test her, seeking flaws in the move. When I thought I found a flaw, she suddenly turned around quickly and stabbed me in the stomach with her sword. I lost 2.1. Willing to accept defeat, I asked her about the conditions she proposed. Why did one mischievously blink her eyes, tell me solemnly? In the future, when my brother confesses to you, you cannot refuse too straightforwardly. Although I know you don't like him very much, 
you can at least save him some face. After all, my brother really loves you. Only when Sister Yan Ying has the person you love can you directly refuse him and let him die from this heart. Alas, there are so many good women outside, why do you have to hang them on your big tree? Brother really hates it, he just likes to do things that don't bother him, he's not at all handsome I was so surprised that I couldn't say a word. Why do you insist on hanging me from this big tree? Is this what a thirteen-year-old girl should say? Seeing that I didn't speak, she continued, actually, during the time I was delivering your message, I was practicing fencing hard every day, and it seems that the results are quite good. He Yiwen jumped happily and walked gracefully towards the door. Before leaving, she pointed to the video recorder and arrogantly threatened me. If I didn't listen, she would show my mother the content of the recorder. Hey, I learned to threaten people at a young age. What's wrong with growing up? As a sister, I must teach her a good lesson. In the following days, from Hiyish's conversation, I learned about Hiyish's lifestyle habits, such as where she loves to put things. When she went out to play, she pretended to visit her bedroom and found a storage card under her pillow and mattress. She put the pre-prepared storage card back and quietly left, specifically reminding Hiyish not to tell Iwen about my past visit. Once, when I saw the timing was right and deliberately provoked her, and sure enough, when she threatened me with a storage card, I immediately showed disdain. When she saw me holding the storage card and giving it to my mother in a fit of anger, my mother hesitated for a long time. She took the storage card with suspicion and inserted it into the computer. What he even didn't expect was that the computer was playing elementary school students broadcast gymnastics. My mother didn't care much about this matter on the grounds that he Yiwen was still young, and even asked me to take her out to eat. After we walked out of the restaurant together, I couldn't forget the expression on Yi Wen's face, which was both hating and blaming herself for not being strong enough. So, she and I formed a bond and fought fiercely on the road of love and death. End of this chapter Chapter 5 Transformation you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 5 Transformation Yan Ying thought about the past and unconsciously fell asleep on the sofa. When she woke up, she covered her body with a thick blanket. He Yish was busy cooking lunch in the kitchen. After taking out the dishes, he found that she had already woken up and gently said, Wife, the food is ready. You should get up and eat it quickly. Seeing the sumptuous Chinese food on the dining table, Yan Ying gave a thumbs up and praised, it seems that in the future, I will have good luck with my mouth. Wife, please sit down and eat. I have something else to ask you. Yan Ying casually found a seat to sit down and said, Yish, do you have anything to do with me? Are you getting married to me? Did you make some undisclosed deal with my grandfather? Can you tell me? Hurt to the painful spot, Yan Ying lowered her head and dared not face him, silently picking at the food in the bowl. Faced with her silent expression, He Yish took the lead in saying, Are you marrying me because I am a young master of the He family? Is it because we are from a matching family? Or is it because our elders hope we get married? And why did you break up with Lu Ziqing? Why did Che ask a series of questions, causing Yan Ying to feel anxious? He didn't like marriage being based on the wishes of the elders of the two families, but she had no choice. Although Yan Ying is not a good person, she cannot just be a bad person. It's not time yet. The current plan is to blame the old mother who works in the office in Nantian. Yan Ying took a deep breath and answered firmly, That's right, we will get married because we are a perfect match. My mom likes you and wants us to be together. What about Lu Ziqing? Why did you break up? Didn't you love each other? The relationship didn't match, so we broke up. After hearing her words, Y let out a cold snort of disdain, his face icy cold, not at all like his usual gentle and elegant demeanor. Are you happy to marry me Yanning doesn't care, mom is happy, I am happy. At this moment, he was so clear that his teeth were clattering with anger, and his eyes were flashing with raging anger, like an enraged lion. Let's do something to make her happier later, such as making her embrace her grandson as soon as possible. 
Why did Che speak word by word, his face twisted with anger at this moment? Yenning remained in place, stunned for a moment, and then silently unbuttoned her shirt. Why did Che see this situation? His suppressed anger erupted in an instant, and he shouted at the top of his lungs, Enough, enough, I've had enough. I never expected you to do this. Yen Ying, what do you think of me as a tool to please your mother? Tears welled up in her eyes as she hurriedly snatched the door away. Shortly after, the sound of something shattering came from the living room, and the clanging sound constantly stimulated Yen Ying's fragile heart. I'm sorry, Yish. I'm a bad person and I'm not worthy of you. You deserve better. Yen Ying could only use these words to alleviate her heavy sense of guilt in her heart. Yen Ying, why are you treating me like this? Am I just a tool to please your mother in your eyes? Why did Che kneel on the ground in pain, repeating this sentence incessantly, tears streaming uncontrollably, saying that a man doesn't shed tears lightly, but hasn't reached the point of sadness? The living room was in a mess, so why sat on the sofa with tears on his face and a listless expression? To be clear, to be clear, to be clear, Yen Ying called three times in a row, but he didn't respond. When Yen Ying wanted to touch him with her hands, how could she block him with a cold and empty gaze, making her feel very unfamiliar? All of this is my fault. You can hit and scold me, don't torture yourself like this. Yen Ying knelt on the ground and begged desperately. How could I be willing to hit and scold you? I want to be your husband well. Isn't tomorrow your day at the Nantian Hotel? You should go back to your room and rest, don't worry about me. Tomorrow night, I'll find someone to celebrate with you. Yen Ying looked at him like this and really didn't trust him. There's no need to celebrate, so go back to your room and rest. Why, do we need to go back to our room together to rest? He sneered, do you want to be together? Yen Ying asked tentatively. Why did Che smile bitterly and shake her head? I don't want to, how could my wife not celebrate her first day as the general manager? After saying that, she took the initiative to enter the second bedroom and locked the door. Upon returning to her second bedroom, He Yish opened her phone, which was filled with messages from mysterious individuals, telling the truth about this marriage. Helpless collapsed on the bed, tired, he was really tired. The next day, Yenning got up early and put on a light gray suit jacket, paired with a high and white shirt, which was refreshing and efficient. Holding the documents prepared yesterday, Yenning hurriedly walked out the door. Before leaving, why did she wave her hand with joy after a night of careful consideration, why did Che understand? She ignored the messages sent by the mysterious person, and the collusion of interests between the two families. So what? She and I are both married, and we will continue to live our lives step by step. Anyway, a marriage with benefits has only two outcomes. If it can be passed, it can be passed. If it cannot be passed, it can be passed. I will fulfill her and also let myself go. Yen Ying is currently serving as the suburban branch of Nantian Hotel, which is relatively far from the city center and close to the suburban tourist attractions and film and television base. Despite occupying such a good geographical location, its performance has never improved and it has been losing money for almost years. The headquarters has replaced several general managers, but the results have been minimal. If we can no longer turn losses into profits, we need to stop losses in a timely manner. Selling it means that all previous investments will be significantly reduced. And it will also lose the important film and television market in the suburbs, which is the least desirable outcome for the headquarters. Yen Ying drove to the front door of the suburban store and saw all the staff standing at the door, respectfully welcoming her arrival. A warm welcome banner was hung on the hotel door, and rows of brightly colored flower baskets were placed on both sides of the door, which was very grand. Yen Ying frowned and slowly approached the mighty team. Wang Peng warmly welcomed her and smiled, saying, Hello Mr. Yen, I am Wang Peng, the vice president of the suburban store. Mr. Yen has worked hard all the way. I warmly welcome Mr. Yan's arrival with all the employees. 
Seeing that she didn't say anything, Wang Peng then said to the staff around him, Xiao Chen, park Mr. Yan's Maserati in the VIP parking lot of the hotel. How can Mr. Yan's car be parked in this outdoor parking lot? Don't bother so much, just park here. Yanning didn't know why, but she was very dissatisfied with Wang Peng's attentive approach. Seeing Yan Ying's dissatisfaction, Wang Peng wisely closed his mouth and waited for her instructions. Let them all go to work separately. And remove these flower baskets. Just tell me where the general manager's office is, and by the way, submit the hotel's financial report together. Okay, I'll do it right away, Wang Peng respectfully replied. Staring blankly at the empty room, how could I feel the mixed flavors in my heart? He was so bored that he had to dial his friend Afei's phone. Afei was the second son of the M.O. group, and the famous saying in life was. There are so many flowers and plants in the world, how can one bow down for one? He has always been very disdainful of himself, bowing down for only one flower for over a decade. Since high school, the girlfriends he has made are like chives. As soon as they break up, there will be new ones coming in. Be generous and read countless women, be carefree in self-proclaimed love prodigal. When he learned that I was about to get married, he simply and clearly expressed his unwillingness to see his good brother walk into the grave of love so early. Actually, he's on vacation with his new girlfriend in Hawaii, he's too busy with time to get around. He he he, typical of valuing color over friendship. At the moment the phone was connected, his lazy voice came through. He does ho, without accompanying your cold wife, how could he suddenly think of me and still feel the misfortune of marriage, coming to me specifically to complain? Why did Che ignore his teasing? When will you return to China? I just returned to China today and am currently lying in a hotel with jet lag. I need you to help me find a woman, someone who looks good and has a good figure. What? What are you saying? Upon hearing this news, M.O. Xiaofei stood up like a carp, as if hearing some kind of fantasy, without any drowsiness from earlier. I didn't hear you wrong. Picking up girls, brother he. You've only been married for a long time, and you've been thinking about finding a beautiful woman. The one in your family is not the easy one to mess with. You heard me right. Find more beautiful women to come over and have a party tonight. The word party is like a stimulant. When M.O. Xiaofei heard this word, any questions or concerns were thrown into the air. Once a cat eats fish, the deliciousness of the fish lingers in its mind like a virus, until it eats delicious fish again. Ha ha, why do you still have today? I thought you were a lover, but I didn't expect you to be the one who stole food while your wife wasn't around. What's wrong with pretending to be so clear in the past? I really thought there was unwavering love in this world. On the other end of the phone, He Yish didn't speak, and Mo Xiaofei assumed that he had agreed. Mo Xiaofei immediately called the managers of various entertainment venues and asked them to prepare various beautiful women. Tonight, he wants to indulge in sex with He Das Ho. Why did Che finally have an epiphany and understand that hanging from a big tree is not right? However, why did he have an epiphany just a few days after getting married? It's strange. Even if it's strange, I still have to go to the party. It's really strange that my young master doesn't go to the party. Not very good at describing character attire, end of this chapter. Chapter 6 Exploration You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Exploration Mo Xiaofei excitedly brought a group of people to He Yish's villa, and within two hours, he dressed up the villa as a large party feast. Dim lights, hazy eyes, charming and alluring girls, explosive music tapping on eardrums, and the faint smoke making the entire party instantly ambiguous. Sitting quietly on the side, why did Che turn a blind eye to everything around her and keep looking at time, at this point, she should be finishing work soon. Mo Xiaofei noticed that He Yish was sitting silently on the side, neither actively seeking conversation nor drinking, feeling very strange. Brother, it's you who said you're looking for a woman, you're also the one who opened the party, 
and you're also the one sitting here feeling unhappy. Are you going to make a scene like that? Take advantage of your iceberg wife's absence and don't have a good time. Why didn't Che speak and continue drinking the drink on the table? Seeing his lackluster appearance, Mo Xiaofei really dampened his interest in drinking. He walked to the center of the stage and loudly said to the beautiful woman on sight, if anyone asks he does ho to voluntarily drink a glass of wine, even if he takes a small sip, he will be rewarded with 50,000 yuan. As soon as he finished speaking, he took the check book he carried with him and wrote more than 10 checks for 50,000 yuan. 50,000 yuan was not a big deal for the wealthy second dot generation, but for those living at the bottom of society, it was a huge sum of money. There was no need to do anything. He could only persuade people to drink a glass of wine and get 50,000 yuan. Such an opportunity would not be easily given up by anyone. Various beautiful women swarmed around He Yish, trying their best to persuade him to drink. Faced with the sorrowful gaze of He Yish, Mo Xiaofei waved his hand helplessly, his light gaze seeming to say, You forced me, don't blame me. The sound of opening the door came from the door, and Yanning slowly walked in, carrying a briefcase. She automatically ignored everything in the villa and walked straight upstairs. Before going upstairs, she still reminded them gently, making them have a little more fun. Mo Xiaofei was stunned. Is this still Yen Ying? When I was a child, I tugged at Yen Ying's braid for playfulness and was chased and beaten by her. I chased her for three blocks, but because her braid was pulled, she cut her hair short the next day and never left her hair too long again. People often say that women have undergone 18 changes, but Yen Ying is not an ordinary change. This is a huge change. In front of my own wife, I'll be lying down with a beautiful woman. Why Che? You're amazing, I won't accept anyone. Seeing that she had no response to this, why did Che's heart cool a lot? She covered her face and lowered her head, completely ignoring the birds and swallows around her. Seeing this situation, Mo Xiaofei understood the general idea in his heart. The young couple had a quarrel and were getting angry with each other. Do not meddle in the household chores of others, especially Miss Yen and Miss He. Mo Xiaofei snapped his fingers and said, let's leave and move to a different place. I'll treat you to a drink. When we arrive at a new place, everyone must stay sober tonight. Everyone loudly agreed, and then each took something and left on their own early. Before Mo Xiaofei left, he gave Yish a slightly sympathetic glance and said, don't mention me in front of Yan Ying, big brother. You should do it yourself. Exhausted and lying on the bed, Yan Ying tried her best not to think about everything that happened today. The hotel's financial report systematically records various expenses. It was thought that the report was fake, but there was no trace of fraud. Is it possible that the reason for the hotel's consecutive losses, as summarized in the report, is due to excessive competition pressure from its peers, resulting in income exceeding expenses? It is impossible. It's definitely not that simple. Why can Shanshue Hotel make a profit in the same environment with similar scale? What kind of magnetic sound came from outside the door? Wife, have you slept? Yen Ying quickly got up from the bed and opened the door. What's up? I'm celebrating your first day on the job like this, aren't you angry? He hesitated and said, his aggrieved little eyes occasionally looking at Yen Ying. Yen Ying shook her head helplessly and said, I'm not angry. Why aren't you angry? Why am I angry? I'm your husband. I'm cuddling around outside. You work hard outside, don't you care? Aren't you angry? Besides, we just got married recently. Yenning listened to his words and said sincerely, I not only care but also extremely angry. But when I saw the beautiful women around you, my happy expression instantly became less angry. Our marriage is indeed a bit strained, but I want you to be happy. If the beautiful women are in your arms and can make you happy now, I can drive you over now. Why did Che, after hearing these words, express confusion and say, I didn't act very happy? Perhaps I misunderstood. 
I was so tired today, feeling dizzy and having a headache. After Yanning finished speaking, she deliberately leaned back and pretended to be very weak. Wife, are you okay? I'll call Dr. Lee, don't stand here now, hurry back to bed and rest, said he yish immediately, taking out his phone immediately standing up straight, Yanning said, I'm just overworked today. Just take a break and I'll be fine. Help me go to bed and rest now. Why did Che support her and walk step by step towards the bed? After settling her down, she turned off the light and quietly left. What financial report, what work report, wait until I wake up tomorrow. After Yen Ying closed her eyes, she soon fell asleep. Outside the door, why did Che smile proudly and say, she acted really well, she's not that fragile. The next day, Yen Ying went to the office early and faced a mountain of documents, making it difficult. How can we effectively save expenses and increase hotel occupancy rates when profits are too low and expenses are too high? A series of problems make people anxious. Standing alone outside the window, Yanning opened the window and a wave of heat swept over her face, making her even more restless. I'm so annoyed, I really want to eat watermelon. After reviewing the radio gymnastics, she felt relieved and returned to her desk to continue her restless work. Not long after, a gentle knock came from outside the door, and Wu Huan walked in with a cut watermelon. Do you have anything to do? Yen Ning asked in confusion. The weather is hot, Vice President Wang specially asked the kitchen to cut watermelons for you to quench your thirst. Thank him for helping me. Let's put the watermelon there. I'll eat it later. Vice President Wang is quite good and knows that I want to eat watermelon now. Wu Huan smiled helplessly and said, Vice President Wang has always been like this. He knows everything well and understands righteousness. As long as Mr. Yen is satisfied, it's good. Yen Ingang picked up the watermelon and was about to eat it when suddenly he was puzzled. How did Wang Peng know that I wanted to eat watermelon now? There are so many thirst-quenching fruits, why must it be watermelon? I am the only one here, and the large office has good sound insulation. In theory, what I said will not be known by a second person. How did he know? Is this just a coincidence? Yanning couldn't help but burst into a cold sweat when she thought of this. If it were a coincidence, it would be too coincidental. Or is it that walls have ears, or as in spy movies, in order to steal secrets, agents will install eavesdropping devices in the office. If the situation is not good, I will find a chance to test him. Yanning informed Wu Huan that after two hours of communication, a middle-dot-level meeting would be held for them to prepare meeting documents separately. In this empty office, Yanning began to talk about her plans for the hotel and spokesperson. Two hours later, the middle dot level meeting will be held. Yen Ying stood up and spoke first, thank you all for taking the time out of your busy schedule to attend this middle dot level meeting. I would like to hear about your plans for the hotel. After listening to her words, all the officials looked at each other and turned to Vice President Wang. Under the expectant gaze of everyone, Wang Peng slowly stood up and solemnly said, I think the hotel should provide better service to VIP guests, improve its own conditions, vigorously promote, and attract more guests. Recently, Zhang Yuan from Xioxianmu will be filming scenes at a nearby film and television base. Our company can hire him as the image spokesperson to increase our hotel's visibility in the production team. Everyone present, don't underestimate the purchasing power of fans. If they go crazy, they will make headlines in the news. Of course, hiring big stars to endorse the hotel will require a high cost, and we still need to consult the headquarters about this. Why did Vice President Wang always choose Zhang Yuan? Yen Ying looked at him with suspicion and asked. Wang Ping smiled and said, although Zhang Yuan is young, his current style is individualistic youth. Besides, most of the people who come to the city for outings are young people in their twenties and thirties. Personally, I think the young Zhang Yuan is very suitable for the positioning of a suburban store. Yen Ying thought for a moment and then asked, there are many artists who follow this style in the circle. 
Why did you choose Zhang Yuan, Vice President Wang? Because he is handsome, he placed his spokesperson sign at the entrance of the hotel. Passing female guests who saw his handsome face might move into our hotel. People always like to look good. After Wang Ping finished speaking, he burst into laughter. Everyone watched him smile, but due to Yen Ying's presence, they didn't dare to laugh too exaggerated. Yen Ying looked at Wang Peng with a smile and said, You've thought of coming with me. Vice President Wang has such great talent, and being a vice president is really unfair. As for the cost of being a spokesperson, I will seek approval from the headquarters. Thank you all for your hard work. That's all for today's meeting. The meeting is over. Looking at Wang Peng's smug smile, Yen Ying really wanted to go up and beat him up. If it happened to be about hotel planning, then the spokesperson was real. Zhang Yuan was something I read from a gossip magazine at the time. No matter how much the magazine praised him, I would praise him like a fanatic in the office. In the past, the spokespersons of Nantian Hotel were all artists with both moral and artistic qualities. A person with only one pair of high looks and no representative works, is it worth paying a high endorsement fee for Nantian Hotel? Wang Peng's self-feeling is also too good. Before I came here, there were rumors within Nantian that there was an iron-clad Vice President Wang and a flowing general manager. His behavior confirmed the conjecture that Wang Peng had indeed installed a bug in the office. It seems that I need to be on good guard against him. End of this chapter Chapter 7 He Yiwen You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 He Yiwen After Work, Yen Ying and He Yish came to the He family together, and He Yiwen waited at the door early. Brother, you're here. It's been a long time since I saw you. Look at you, you've lost weight. He Yiwen pulled He Yish to look left and right, unwilling to overlook every detail. Is Grandpa here? He Yish asked. He Yiwen pointed to the second floor and said, Yes, he's in the study. I'll go up first, you accompany your sister dot in dot law to have a good conversation. Why did Che finish speaking and then go upstairs? Gently watching him leave, why did Wen turn her head and see Yen Ying reveal her true feelings? Why is my brother looking for Grandpa? Guess what, Miss Yen Ying, guess me or not? If you don't guess, then don't guess. How do I know if you guess? Good sister, just tell me. At this moment, He Yiwen looked at her pitifully like a gentle kitten. Yen Ying glanced at He Yiwen and said, Stop it, I won't eat your tricks. Auntie, your acting skills are so good, why don't you become an actress? My grandfather doesn't let us enter the entertainment industry, nor do he let us fall in love with people in the entertainment industry. She let out a soft sigh, and why was Wen's eyes filled with sadness? Yen Ying was stunned and then burst out laughing, actually, Grandpa was very thoughtful. With Miss He's amateur acting skills, how could it be compared to her professional skills? Yen Ying, you can say I'm not good at it, but you can't insult my acting skills, said He Yiwen with a grin Yen Ying looked at her and asked seriously, why do I say you're not good at it? It's strange. What kind of acting do you have? Don't you have self-awareness? He Yiwen quickly covered her ears and said, don't listen, I can't hear. Since your brain automatically blocks the topic of acting, I can't say anything more. By the way, I work at a suburban store in Nantian City. Come and see me when you have time. There are not only tourist attractions near the suburbs, but also the Zonglingshan film and television base. He Yiwen was somewhat dissatisfied and said, just hit me and gave me another candy. Yen Ying, what did you treat me like? Yen Ying was indifferent, anyway, the person who was banned is not me. As for what I think of you, guess what you think. If you guess correctly, there will be rewards. He Yiwen took a deep breath and calmly asked, you talk about the reward first, and then I'll consider whether or not to guess. Yen Ying pointed to the nearby gate and said calmly, letting you go out is the biggest reward. Other rewards are all unnecessary. How about it? I am moved and not moved. 
please declare in advance that you only need to help me with one thing. No profit, no gain, no gain. Early Yen Ying, said one with a helpless pout without saying a word, Yen Ying became dominant and said, stop talking nonsense, just say yes or no. Promise, I promise, Yen Ying smiled proudly and patted her shoulder kindly, whispering, actually, it's nothing. I asked you to be a customer of Nantian Hotel for a week, evaluate its service, hygiene, and truthfully report to me. Is that acceptable? He Yiwen breathed a sigh of relief and said, I thought it was for me to work. I turned out to be a temporary hotel experience engineer, okay. If we meet, we should pretend not to know each other and not reveal our identities in the hotel. We should keep a low profile, understand. He Yiwen mischievously blinked her eyes and confidently said, I understand. It's like playing a spy film. For the mission, two people who used to know each other face each other on the street, and they can both treat each other as air. Yen Ying suddenly petrified, and while chatting with Yi Wen, how could she bring anything into acting? Why did Che come to the study? Mr. He was sitting on the sofa, carefully reading the newspaper. When he saw him coming, he immediately put down the newspaper and said, Che, what's up? Now that I'm married, I don't want to be idle all day. I have to go to work, he Yish earnestly pleaded in front of Mr. He, I know you're married now, isn't 500,000 yuan a month's pocket money enough? You're not allowed to go to work in your current situation. Why not? I won't go to He's, I can go to another company. Master He was slightly angry and said seriously, if you want to go, then you can go. But if you don't go to another company to work without my permission, your credit card will be suspended, your house and car will be taken back. If you want to rely on your wife to support you, you can also do so. Yen Ying's credit card has also been suspended by her mother. Don't think of going to the Nantian Hotel for free. That's not manly. The He family can't afford to lose this person. Your couple's income is only your wife's salary, and your wife's salary is calculated on an annual basis. That means she relies on you to support her now. If you want to work in another company, I'll ask the owner of that company to start a business. Except for you, unless you go to work at the Nantian Hotel, without my permission, you cannot go to the He family why did Che get a little crazy upon hearing this? What should I do? My grandfather allowed me to go to work. I don't want to be a rich third generation who just fools around and waits to die. Mr. He looked firmly at him and said, Can you get rid of your lens phobia and go back to work at Mr. He? Upon hearing this condition, how could Che be completely dumbfounded? Memories of the past kept popping up in his mind. He had been suffering from camera phobia for a long time, so how could he say he would just change it? Can I keep it unchanged? I can do behind the scenes work, even if I don't need to face the camera. This is impossible. What qualifications do you have to negotiate with me? How long have your parents passed away? Can't you still leave those painful memories? Mr. He's aggressive tone made him shiver. He clenched his fists tightly and gritted his teeth, saying, I've been trying to walk out. Grandpa, can you give me time? Mr. He snorted coldly and said, Haven't I given you time? You've been eating and drinking for years, and you don't need to do anything. I've even managed to get your favorite wife for you. What's your dissatisfaction? If you can't change your camera phobia, then you should be a rich third generation waiting to die. If you don't want to change your camera phobia, then you can do it. With a cold sweat on his back, why could Che endure the discomfort? He asked, what should I do so that I don't have to change it? Grandpa he pinched his brows and looked at him calmly, if my grandson can't do it, can't I expect my great-grandson in my lifetime? If you really want to prove yourself to me, then hurry up and give birth to a great-grandson from the He family with Yen Ying. I don't have high expectations. You and Yen Ying's first boy must have the surname He, and I will directly raise them. I don't know what's going on, why did Che suddenly feel that her breathing was gradually becoming faster and everything around her was spinning around, he didn't remember what happened afterwards. In his sleep, 
he seemed to hear the voices of his sister and wife. He really wanted to talk to them, but couldn't speak up. After waking up, it was already evening. Yenning sat by the bed, wearing headphones, staring intently at her phone. Sometimes her eyebrows furrowed, sometimes her face surprised, sometimes lost in thought. Looking at her rich expression, she was really curious about what she was looking at now. Why did Che sit up slowly? After seeing him sit up, Yenning said, Don't move, lie down well. What do you want? I'll get it for you. Seeing himself lying in the hospital, why did Che ask, what's wrong with me? The doctor said that due to insufficient blood supply to the brain, temporary coma may occur. Rest more, use less brain, stay up late, and avoid mental stimulation. Where are my younger sister and grandfather? Originally, Yiwen wanted to stay with you, but Grandpa mercilessly took her back to the He family. I got it, through the residual light, He Yish saw the screen of her phone, and Yanning noticed that he was looking at her own phone. She hurriedly turned off her phone. Are you hungry? The two of them spoke in unison. I'm going to buy food and I'll be back soon. As soon as she finished speaking, Yanning slipped away. Halfway through the meal, He Yish suddenly said, I need to overcome my camera phobia in order to go to work. Are you suddenly taking me to the He family today because of this? Yenning replied casually while eating. I want to work, which not only enriches my leisure life, but also earns money, provided that I overcome my fear of taking photos. Did you faint because of this? Well, Grandpa, I don't want to work in other companies. I can only go to He's or Nantian Hotel. Will my mother in law agree to let me work at Nantian Hotel? Yanning sighed and said, based on my understanding of my mother, she probably wouldn't let you work at the Nantian Hotel, even as a waiter. Why did Che pout in disappointment, his eyes full of grievances, why is it so difficult for me to find a job? Yanning was stunned for a moment, as if thinking of something. E. Che, the process of overcoming fear will be very painful. Are you sure? Suddenly clenching his fist, he said firmly in a clear tone, I want to give it a try. It's not for anyone else, it's for myself. I've had enough of it. When I think of this, I collapse uncontrollably. Yenning held his hand and gently said, In a few days, let's go find the best psychological counseling center together. However, you need to rest well now. Only when you rest well can you have the energy to do what you want to do. Wife, can you take me home? I can also rest well at home. I don't want to stay in the hospital. No, the doctor said you need to be hospitalized for observation. Why did Che frown and look at her pitifully, her eyes moving with her movements, making her feel a bit embarrassed? Yenning waved her hand and said helplessly, I'll go ask the doctor. The doctor said it's okay, but if the doctor says it's okay, then it's not okay. How could Che open his mouth and be happier than Yi? After Yenning left, why did Che quickly put on casual clothes, fold the blanket, and patiently sit on the hospital bed waiting for her? After obtaining the doctor's permission, Yenning walked towards He Yish's ward, where he was already prepared for discharge. With a wave of her hand, she nodded with a clear understanding and followed her quickly. After returning home, suddenly a very important question was placed in front of Yen Ying. Yish, do you want to sleep with me? Wife, although I have liked you since I was young and we are also legally married, it doesn't mean you can take advantage of me, said Che with a frightened expression, I took advantage of you. Yen Ying looked bewildered. I'll sleep there, you'll sleep in the master bedroom. Let's split up temporarily, said he Yish, pointing to the second bedroom next to him, okay. I'm going to bed now, wife good night, after speaking, why did Che walk unsteadily towards the second bedroom? Why is Che lying in bed, quite satisfied with her performance just now? She should reject her wife like this and let her dispel that thought. Last time, what I said was just a momentary anger. It's not right to use children to please my mother. In law. This kind of child cannot be considered a crystallization of love, 
it's just a product of pleasing elders. Besides, even if my grandfather controls me, I don't want him to control my child. My child should grow up freely in an environment full of love. Yening was lying on the bed in the master bedroom, feeling restless for a long time. Why did Che think too much? What I meant was whether or not to sleep in the master bedroom together. How could he understand it as me taking advantage of him? Just joking, would I take advantage of him? Really, the more I think about it, the more irritable it becomes. Forget it, don't think so much anymore. I have to go to the He family early tomorrow morning. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Role Playing You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Role Playing The next day, Yening went to the He family early and reported on the recent situation of Yi Che to He Laozi. At the same time, she suggested that He Yiwen could come to the suburban store for a period of time to enhance her relationship. Mr. He agreed to her request without even thinking about it. After being forcibly sent back to the He family by Yen Ying, He Yiwen has been banned from walking, and old master He even forbade her from leaving the He family. When she heard that she could go to the suburbs, He Yiwen danced happily and immediately packed up her things. Looking at the magnificent He family, He Yiwen secretly rejoiced in her heart. Finally, she can leave the cage of the He family. At 8 p.m., escorted by Butler He, he Yiwen arrived at the suburban store alone. The hotel lobby was cold and deserted. He Yiwen walked to the front desk with her suitcase and asked the waiter who was playing with her phone, Hello, can you help me check in? After hearing someone speak, the waiter placed his phone on the table and politely asked, How many days do you plan to stay? Stay for seven days and open a deluxe king bedroom. Is there a discount for staying for seven days at a time? If there is a discount, how much is it? Is the experience of staying here the same as that of the Nantian main store? Upon hearing this, the waiter saw that she was dressed very plainly and immediately changed her attitude. No, she said he Yiwen was a bit puzzled and quickly asked, other Nantian hotels stay for seven days at a time, with an additional day off. Why doesn't your store have one? Aren't they all owned by Nantian Hotel? Sorry, we don't have this promotion in our store. If you want to enjoy this discount, you can choose a hotel that supports this promotion. Excuse me, seeing the impatience at the front desk, He Yiwen understood in her heart that asking too many questions was futile, and she left dissatisfied, carrying her suitcase. As soon as she entered the room, He Yiwen casually glanced at it, and the score barely passed. Open the suitcase and take out the prepared skincare products. He Yiwen thinks the clothes can be worn less, but the skincare products must be used well. After applying the facial mask, He Yiwen sent the experience to Yen Ying's mobile phone by text message. The next day, Yen Ying sat in the office, her mind full of messages from He Yiwen last night. Is the service attitude of the suburban store really bad at night? Can't you really enjoy the benefits that Nantian has always enjoyed here? Instead of struggling here, it's better to go and inspect it. Yening called Wang Peng and said directly, I haven't been at the hotel for long and I'm not very familiar with the hotel's business. Why don't you accompany me to inspect? Upon hearing this, Wang Peng immediately expressed his willingness to lead the way and lead the way. Yening walked to the lobby and whispered to him, If we were guests, standing from their perspective and experiencing the hotel service, what do you think? Vice President Wang. The general manager is right, Wang Peng echoed beside him. Vice President Wang, you play the role of a guest who comes during the day, and I play the role of a guest who comes at night. Wang Peng muttered to himself. What kind of tricks does this woman play? Does she like to play role dot playing? The hobbies of wealthy women are indeed different from those of others. Carrying an empty suitcase, he swaggered towards the front desk, where there were four people at the front desk and two gatekeepers standing at the door. The general manager inspected the work and gave me some intelligence, showing me your best attitude, Wang Peng whispered to the front desk receptionist. The front desk receptionists all made an okay gesture to help him fool the hotel general manager. 
They did a lot of work and were already familiar with the situation. General Manager, I have had a good experience. It's your turn. Wang Peng excitedly said to Yan Ying. Yan Ying smiled and pointed to the front desk, is there also four people at the front desk at night? No, sometimes it's two, sometimes it's one, and sometimes it's three. We arranged the front desk manpower based on the situation at night. Wang Ping gestured towards the front desk, with two people standing aside, leaving only the other two sitting at the front desk. Yan Ying walked slowly to the front desk with her suitcase in hand and said, Hello, is there any discount for me staying for three days? The receptionist replied with a smile, Hello, there is no discount for staying for three days. If you stay for seven days, you can enjoy an additional day of free service. May I ask if there is anything else I can help you with? No more, thank you. Guest, please walk slowly. The elevator is on your left. Wang Peng stood beside and nodded in satisfaction. I have never known how many people there are in the hotel, and what their positions are. Can you print a list for me? Okay, Mr. Yen, do you want it now? Go back to the office first, I hope the list will appear on my desk immediately. Okay, take your time. After seeing Yen Ning leave, three or five waiters immediately gathered around and said, what was the general manager doing just now? They said that the new official's appointment was a three-pronged fire, and there might be some new policies coming out. Wang Peng gave them a disgruntled glance and said solemnly, be careful with your work lately. She's not as easy to fool as other general managers. Pay close attention to her actions in the hotel and report to me as soon as there's any situation. Let's all get busy. The waiters whispered in unison, I understand. Looking at the obedient waiter, Wang Peng smiled with satisfaction. Yan Ying Ming, you are the general manager, and I am the boss of this hotel in the dark. Twenty minutes later, the secretary placed the hotel personnel list on her desk. Yan Ying carefully checked the hotel's personnel arrangements, but she did not see any problems or any unreasonable personnel arrangements. On the contrary, the personnel arrangements of the suburban hotel are very in line with the personnel regulations of Nantian Hotel. Why is Wen's matter just a coincidence? Please ask her to take a good look next time. On Saturday, He Yish and Yen Ying came to the famous Xianyang Psychological Counseling Center together. Xianyang is currently one of the top psychological institutions in China, attracting many social celebrities. Unlike other psychological institutions, it is necessary to be present in person to make an appointment. Not only is the price expensive, but also if you pay, it may not be your turn. The time for treatment is determined by them. Even so, there are still many well-known individuals who come here. Entering Xiangyang, Yan Ying and He Yish met several former classmates, most of whom had successful careers, which also brought considerable pressure. Depression, insomnia, and irritability are all common things, and in the process of chatting with them, how can we have a clear understanding of the basic situation of Xiangyang? The Xianyang Psychological Counseling Center has 15 psychological counselors, including one gold medal and three silver medals, all of whom are ordinary. Without a doubt, why did Che definitely choose a gold medal psychological counselor? But booking a gold medal psychological counselor requires waiting, and there are still many people queuing up in front of him to make appointments. After completing the appointment procedures for a gold medal psychological counselor, Yan Ning met a strange woman in the elevator. The woman was wearing a black sportswear, a black duckbill cap on her head, and her face was tightly covered with a mask. It was not surprising, but strangely, whether it was due to the angle of her stance or other factors, she seemed to feel that the mysterious woman was watching He Yish throughout the entire journey. He Yish didn't notice anyone looking at him, but kept asking herself where to wait for a meal. After the elevator arrived on the first floor, Yan Ning found that the mysterious woman did not follow out. Yan Ning felt very strange, but couldn't say where it was. Perhaps she had misread it, or maybe the woman just wanted to go to another floor. 
Wang Ruoyan pondered for a moment in the elevator and directly pushed up to the 24th floor. At this point, there are very few customers at the Xianyang Psychological Counseling Center. The receptionist saw Wang Ruoyan coming and warmly welcomed him. Dr. Wang, there are 20 people who have scheduled your treatment today. Here is their information. Please take a look and confirm which patient to treat. Please let me know. Wang Ruoyan opened the information expressionlessly and pointed to He Yish's information, He, it's him. The receptionist then asked, When do you plan to receive treatment? Tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock, good, if you ask him to wear formal attire, be sure to wear a black suit, tie, and leather shoes. Good although the receptionist had some doubts about this, he still picked up the phone and dialed He Yish's number. Hello, is that Mr. He? I am, are you? We are Xiangyang Psychological Counseling Center. Please come to the center tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. When you come, be sure to wear a black suit, tie, and leather shoes. Why do you have to be all black? Besides, I only made an appointment today. Is it my turn so soon, said Che, feeling a little confused, the appointment time was determined by the doctor, but we are not sure about the specifics. Mr. He's clean and refreshing attire can make people feel happy and make your treatment more effective. Okay, I happen to have all these things. Thank you and I wish you a happy life. Why did Che hang up the phone and continue eating with Yen Ying? End of this chapter. Chapter 9. Auditions. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 9 Auditions The Zhongling Mountain Film and Television Base, with Zhongling Mountain as the background, cleverly combines local natural landscapes such as mountains, rocks, caves, water, and forests. The architectural complex at the foot of the mountain is mainly composed of Tang and Song architecture, and is one of the famous ancient costume fairy tale film and television bases in China. On the way to the top of the mountain, He Yiwen was walking. A man wearing a sky blue shirt and a work permit from Tianqin Film and Television Company hung around his neck. He gently patted her shoulder and politely asked, Miss, I see that you are beautiful and charming, with a fresh and refined temperament. Would you be willing to be an actor? He Yiwen didn't even think about it and responded directly, Hmm, I'm willing. Our company cooperates with major brokerage companies and is now selecting supporting role for the TV series, Sword Ranger. I think your temperament is very suitable for one of the roles, He Yiwen opened her mouth in surprise and pointed to the work permit on his chest, asking, There's still such a good thing in the world. Are you a scammer? The man smiled awkwardly and said, No, how can I be a scammer? Look, this is my company's license plate. Don't you even know about Tianqin Film and Television Company? Forget it, I won't tell you that much. If you believe it, come to the banquet hall at number 1 Shanshue Hotel tomorrow. If you don't believe it, don't come. Believe it or not, it's up to you. After the man finished speaking, he left without looking back. He Yiwen quickly picked up her phone and searched for Tianqin Film and Television Company. Tianqin Film and Television Company was indeed preparing for the filming of Swordsman. Looking at the man's receding figure, He Yiwen gave a cold snort of disdain. My cousin, Miss He, how can I play a supporting role? Even if I want to play a supporting role, I must be a second female. Playing a small supporting role really lowers my status, but when I turned my head and thought about it, it would be nice to go and have a look tomorrow, just to pass the boring time. If there is a director who really appreciates my amazing acting skills and the small role of supporting role, I will accept it reluctantly. The gold will shine everywhere, which is also impossible. After enjoying the scenery of Zhongling Mountain, why did one return to the hotel and go to bed early to rest? Tomorrow, she will also go to the Shanshue Hotel early in the morning. The Shanshue Hotel is located near the Nantian Hotel, and it takes only a dozen minutes to walk there. However, as soon as one entered the lobby, it was bustling with people in groups of three or five. Compared to the cold and desolate lobby of the Nantian Hotel, it was like a sky, like a ground. Seeing this, 
Hee Yiwen couldn't help but post a short video of the lobby of the Shanshue Hotel to vent her anger on Yen Ying. They're all hotels, why is the difference so big? Plus a smirk emoji Yen Ying saw the small video she sent and didn't have much psychological fluctuation, just asked her to stay in touch. Sister Yen Ying, you know what so many people are doing around there, auditioning for the supporting role of the TV series, but it's so busy. It's a pity that someone has to go to work and can only see it through his mobile phone. Yen Ying picked up her mobile phone and immediately retorted, Why? Is Miss He going to play a small supporting role? When is the requirement so low? It's just a look. I just want to see how I can play those little supporting role. Even if I have to play supporting role, at least it's the second girl. Yen Ning was speechless and immediately replied, Wake up. The director chose the second female lead, and most of the auditions are impossible. Miss, that's a character audition, not a singing competition. I don't listen, fearing that Yen Ying might disturb her good performance, why should one simply set her phone to silent mode? A lot of people came to the number one conference hall. Some interviewed staff, and some interviewed small supporting role. The number of people interviewed small supporting role was the largest. The long line was almost at the door of the conference room. After all, everyone wanted to become famous overnight. He Yiwen stood in the most inconspicuous corner, silently watching the scene of their interview. When it was time to perform with a cheerful mood, the person forced out a smile and twisted their facial expression, saying to the interviewer, this is a genuine smile. Some people perform in a daze. At first, they sit there motionless, but suddenly burst out laughing uncontrollably, only to be rejected by the interviewer. People with poor performance will be taken to a small room by one person. He Yiwen smiled and said to himself, It seems that today is the right time to come. Yesterday that man didn't cheat me. This is really the supporting role of the TV series Sword Ranger. Some people need to perform heartbreaking performances, unable to cry at the scene. That person directly drops eye drops into their eyes, covers their face, and with the help of eye drops, they actually cry. This performer looks pretty good, and the interviewer nods repeatedly in satisfaction. Then, the well-performing person is pulled aside by a man wearing a black shirt and hat standing next to her, there was also a man wearing headphones and a grey dot shirt standing there, holding a small notebook and not knowing what he was writing. Why didn't you sign up, are you talking to me? The man scratched his head in confusion he even looked around and curiously asked, is there anyone else in this corner besides you? And you? Why don't you sign up? I just came here to have a look. This little supporting role, Miss Ben, doesn't care about it. It's just boring to come here and have a look. The man chuckled and said seriously, Miss, if you have nothing to do, it's better to leave quickly. There are risks to the excitement, so be careful when watching it. Ha! Big brother, what you said is so profound. Do you still need to be cautious when watching the excitement now? The orderly crowd suddenly became a mess. The man saw the situation and rushed forward with one swift step, but was blocked by the chaotic crowd, unable to move any further. He helplessly watched as many interviewers left through the side door, leaving only staff wearing white shirts inside to maintain order. The man helplessly held up his police ID and shouted, I am a police officer, please make way. The scene was too chaotic, and the shouting and arguments at the scene successfully covered the man's shouting. Someone has already started to fight, and a few strong men are beating up the staff at the scene, shouting. You scammer, return our money quickly. One of the beaten staff members innocently said, Big brother, I really don't know. I'm just here to work part dot time. The strong man said fiercely, You kid, won't you say it? I'll call until you say it. Continuing to fight, the others, like a model, joined in beating the staff wearing white shirts. The man rushed up to persuade the fight, but unfortunately, his strength was weak and he couldn't make any difference. Seeing the chaotic scene, he even couldn't help but vent her anger and shouted, Miss, I came here to see how they act and choose roles, not to see you fighting. 
As a result, no one paid attention to her. Avoiding the crowd, he even walked directly to the largest interview table, picked up a chair, and slammed it hard. The loud noise shook everyone present, and the originally noisy scene instantly quieted down. Everyone looked at her on the interview table. Seeing so many people looking at her in unison, he Yiwen was not afraid at all. She was joking, at least she had seen the world before. Can violence solve everything? If violence can solve the problem, what's the use of police? I have already reported to the police. On the way, everyone just needs to be patient and wait. There are wrongs and debts, and there are owners. Fighting is such a thing. If you win, you will be sent to jail for compensation, but if you lose, you will be injured and hospitalized. Everyone is a man with both seniors and juniors, so be cautious when you take action. As soon as the words fell, a large team of police rushed over, and the police in charge were very strange. Why is the scene of the crowd fraud so quiet? Seeing the police coming, He Yiwen was immediately confused. I didn't call the police, why did they come? If the old man found out that I had entered the police station again, it would be even more difficult to come up with a solution in the future. A large number of police officers are surrounding the scene, registering and questioning each person present one by one. End of this chapter. Chapter 10. Escape. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 10 Escape Upon hearing the police officer in charge calling the man as the deputy, he Yiwen felt that there was hope in leaving here. After all, he and I stood in the corner all the way and didn't participate in anything. Let him talk to the police officer in charge, maybe he can let me out quickly. Hello, police officer, can I go out? My sister dot in dot law is still waiting for me to come home and cook. He Yiwen walked slowly to the man and asked gently in order to create herself as a weak and helpless little woman, He Yiwen forcefully lowered her voice. But when you were on stage just now, wasn't it like this? The contrast between the woman's front and back made the man suspicious. What are you going to do to let me go, said Wen helplessly, immediately restoring her original voice, accept the investigation, once it's completed, it's all right. He Yiwen waved her hand helplessly and said, Investigation is investigation. I am innocent and not afraid anymore. The man cleared his throat and asked seriously, Madam, may I ask your name, where do you currently live? Why are you here? Do you carry any identification documents with you? She touched her pocket and only carried her room card and phone. He Yiwen blinked her watery big eyes, took out her room card, and asked, does this count? The man glanced at the room card and felt somewhat incredulous. Why did you come to the Shanshue Hotel when you were staying at the Nantian Hotel? Or is there someone you know here? I said I was just here to watch the excitement, police officer. Do you believe me? I wasn't standing with you in the corner just now, and you saw it with your own eyes. I wouldn't do things like fraud. I didn't say what you did, but how did you know there was an audition here? Who told you, was that person present? He Yiwen sighed and fully recounted what happened at the film and television base yesterday. Then, she carefully looked at the scene and shook her head helplessly. The man from yesterday doesn't seem to be here. Why do you disdain this character? Most people want to become famous overnight, and it's because of this that they've been taken advantage of by criminals. By the way, this lady, you haven't even mentioned your name yet. Sure enough, pies won't fall from the sky, even if they do, they are still poisonous. He Yiwen smiled and helplessly replied, my name is Yan Ying. Regarding overnight fame, well, that's my personal question and I can't answer it. My ID card is three. Can I leave now, police officer? Miss Yen, please leave your contact information, what? Contact information. There are new developments in the case that require your assistance. Please do not leave any blank or downtime numbers. Thank you for your cooperation. It's impossible to keep my number. Except for Yen Ying's number, I can't keep anything else. Yen Ying, I'm sorry for you. So, 
He Yiwen cruelly left Yen Ying's contact information. After recording the documents, the man solemnly introduced himself, Hello, my name is Lin Xian and my police number is Triple X. Oh. Can I go now? Sure, Miss Yen, please help yourself. Why did Wen run all the way, hoping to leave this place quickly? Opening the phone, there were several missed calls, all from Yen Ying. Afraid of her worry, he Yiwen quickly dialed back and said, Is there anything you need to call me for? I heard that a large number of police officers just arrived at the Shanshue Hotel, and you happened to be at the same hotel. I was worried that I couldn't answer your phone call. After hearing what she said, He Yiwen was deeply moved. It turned out that besides her brother, there were people in this world who were worried about her. I'm fine, thank you, Sister Yen Ying. Thank me for what? I'm worried that you might be caught by the police, and then I'll find a way to get you out. I can't let Grandpa know yet. With a black line on her face, He Yiwen was speechless for an instant. It turned out that Yen Ying was worried about this, cruel friends. It's nothing, there have been a lot of scams lately. Some people impersonate police officers or people from banks when making phone calls. Don't answer these people's calls. I will take care of it. There will be a meeting later, so hang up first. Thank you. After hanging up the phone, Yenning resumed working. Just as the phone hung up over here, manager He's call came. Why did Wen mutter in a very low voice? The old man is looking for me, there must be no good thing. No good phone calls, you have to answer them or not. Butler Grandpa, do you have anything to do with me? Master, let you go back to the He family now. Did Grandpa say anything? The person picking up Miss is already on the way. I hope you can wait in the hotel with peace of mind, Yiwen. Did Grandpa say anything? He didn't say anything, Butler Grandpa, can you just reveal a little bit? Just reveal a little, I'll be ready. She spoke in a slightly coquettish tone, making housekeeper his scalp tingle. After thinking for a moment, Butler he said, a man should marry a woman. Thank you, Grandpa Butler. Why did one hastily hang up the phone and run back to the hotel? What are you waiting for? A fool would sit here and wait. Most of the brothers at home are engaged in commercial marriages. Although my brother and Yan Ning also belong to a commercial alliance, my brother likes Yan Ning. Although Yan Ning often harms me, she is a kind-hearted and good person. I know that the old man definitely didn't want to let me go, my old swan. If you don't run at this time, it will be even longer. Returning to the room, I found that my mobile phone had a location, but without it, most of my bank cards belonged to he family. Without it, I only brought a few clothes, some skincare products, and a 4 million yuan bank card. The money in the card was secretly saved to prevent this day from coming. He Yiwen tried her best to avoid the camera throughout the journey, quietly walked through the back door of the hotel, hurriedly stopped a taxi, and drove directly to the city center. When the bodyguards of the He family arrived, the vast room was left with only a phone and bank card, and He Yiwen had already run away. As soon as she thought of the old man's twisted face, she couldn't help but laugh at the taxi driver. The taxi driver watched his passengers laughing in the back seat and asked, Miss, where are we going to the city center? Go to the city center square, okay, I got it, I can't go to the airport or the train station. Maybe the old man would have sent someone to guard there long ago. Miss I won't be fooled by that. The place that the old man can think of, she can naturally think of it. The most dangerous place is often the safest place. Near the city center square is the headquarters of the He group. Just rent a house nearby and stay for a while before coming out. The rest will be discussed later. The old man probably never dreamed that I would live under his nose. Oh, my miss is so smart. Upon learning that he Yiwen had escaped, Grandpa he was not very angry. He knew what kind of temper her precious granddaughter had, and it was absolutely impossible for her to have a commercial marriage. She didn't want to work in the He family, and they didn't raise idle people or useless people. 
He said to Butler he, notify Ye Xin Yanning that Yi Wen has run away from home. What about the others? Grandpa he sneered, of course, everyone else doesn't need it. Xiao Wen, except for Yish, Yanning won't contact anyone else. Everyone else would love Yi Wen not to come back. Even if some people don't tell him, he will still know. Steward he took orders and respectfully stepped down. Looking at the empty living room, Mr. He fell into contemplation. I am getting old now, and the He family cannot manage it for a few years. The most important issue at present is the issue of the heir to the He family group. The hard.earned family business cannot be left with a useless heir. Originally, among my two children, I most wanted my eldest son, He Yuan, to take over. He Yuan was intelligent, upright, courageous, and well led. Unfortunately, he passed away early in a car accident, leaving only a pair of children, Yi Che and Yi Wen, my youngest son He Ji is mediocre and has a lascivious nature. He had an affair with a waitress before graduating from college. Thinking of this son, I couldn't help but get angry. He entrusted it to him, so it's better to donate it. Although his eldest grandson He Cheng is an illegitimate child, he is much more reliable in his actions than his bastard father. He handed him He Shi building materials, which turned losses into profits in the first year and grew year by year. He Xuan was born to He Ji's ex-wife. He Ji's first wife was infuriated to death by He Ji. He Xuan swore in front of everyone at the age of sixteen that he would never recognize He Ji in his lifetime. For my father, I wouldn't use a single penny from the He family. At the age of eighteen, I changed my name to Su Jiacheng and now I am a doctor. He Shan is still in school. He was born to He Ji's current wife. He is the youngest and his abilities are difficult to evaluate. I don't want to mention He Ji's other unknown illegitimate children. Yi Che has lens phobia and cannot work for the He family. If his lens phobia can improve, I would like to see how Yi Che's abilities are. If Yi Che's abilities are the same as his father's, he will be the next successor of the He family group. If Yi Xin Yanning had a happy and fulfilling marriage, it would be like adding wings to a tiger for him. Yanning was shocked when she learned that Yi Wen had run away from home. She thought to herself, Miss He did what I had always wanted to do since I was young. When He Yish learned that his sister had run away from home, he was extremely anxious. Without saying a word, he went straight back to the He family. After returning to the He family, the butler stopped him and said, The master said it, but we haven't seen anyone, especially young Master Yish. He had no choice but to find his own wife. End of this chapter